best explanation that we have today for a mechanism for the beginning of the flood is the theory known as catastrophic plate tectonics. In this theory, the continents split apart while submerged in the first few days of the flood and it happened by the breaking open of the fountains of the deep. If such an event had happened, we would expect some evidence for that and we do indeed have evidence that's consistent with that idea. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge could have been a formation, a volcanic formation, started at the beginning of the flood as the single pre-flood continent began to split apart while submerged. If it did so, then material coming out of the ridge would move apart and magnetic dipoles would eventually, as the rock hardened, be set in place. Now the thing is that this process would involve very rapid reversals and reversals again of the Earth's magnetic field. So as the material moved out, we would get dipoles set in one direction, the material moves out, there would be dipoles then set in the opposite direction when the field had reversed, and then the, the material moves out and dipoles again in the first direction and so on. We would expect therefore symmetrical stripes in opposite directions of magnetic dipoles either side of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. On the other hand, if the plate tectonic movement had happened over millions of years, as secular geologists suggest, you would not have got such a striping effect. The positioning of the magnetic dipoles would be far more random. What we in fact find is that you do get these parallel magnetic stripes either side of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And that seems to be evidence that is consistent with the idea of catastrophic plate tectonics, which, as we have said before, seems to be a good explanation to fit with the concept of the opening of the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven from Genesis chapter 7.